video I am here to do a room tour finally um I, I was planning on doing this just when everything's exactly how I wanted it and stuff like that and I've got everything that I want um but then I realized that that's never going to happen because I'm always going to want something so I'm going oh, I need to let my dog out in a minute it's driving me insane so I'm going to do um a room tour and well more of a, a drawers and things kind of tour instead of a whole room because my room's not really exactly how I want it because I'm selling a few things, I've bought a few things and stuff like that. So it's not exactly how I want it at the moment. But I thought the best way to be able to look back and see how it was and then how I wanted it and how it's going to be when it's done would be to do a video now and then do a video in a few months when it's exactly how I want it. And then I can see the difference and it'll be nice to see the transformation. So for anyone that doesn't know, I work from home in my parents' house. Um, we have a utility room on the side of our house, which has got its own front door. So clients don't have to walk through my house and things like that and get mauled by my dog. He's not really that type of dog and you can't see him at the moment. Hang on, let me just see. <laughs> That's the type of dog he is. He literally just sits and stares at doors all day long. So, um, yeah, so I work on the side of my house and... Well, that's about it really so i think i'm just gonna get straight into it so i have i also just wanted to ask you as well while i'm here um i've got a lot of things coming just things in general so a lot of things to do with nails and my nail room and a lot of things that are not so like i've ordered wax melts for the room and the wax melt burner i've got loads of stuff coming from the body shop like just random stuff some of it links to nails and some of it doesn't and i wasn't 100 percent sure whether to do a nail well not a nail but whether to do a haul on all of that stuff because obviously this is a nail channel so if you think it'd be a good idea for me to do hauls of random stuff as well just things that i use in day-to-day -day life like as a nail tech and as a, just a person then please let me know and i'll be able to do that because that's more video ideas for my channel so i think i'm just gonna get straight into it i'm gonna obviously switch the camera around and then literally just show you around i'm gonna I'm going to get rid of my dog because he's moaning at me. He obviously doesn't want to be in here with me while I'm recording. So I'm going to do that. And then let's just have a look around my room. Okay, I just wanted to show you what a bomb site my room is at the moment. Um, I'm selling the bed that's over there in the background. And those drawers will be pushed back to where the bed is. So it'll look a lot tidier. Okay, so the first area I'm going to show you is to the left where my door is. So clients come in through this door and then they sit here at my desk. So first of all, this is where I keep all of my swatches of all my gel polish colours. Um, I am planning on getting the entire Magpie gel colour collection when all this coronavirus is over. So that will be growing. I've also got plans for my swatches. I'm going to be doing the same as everyone else and jumping on the bandwagon of having them on a jewellery stand. So I've also got this cute little thing here. I think it was from Pound Stretch or somewhere like that. And it's got all of my body shop hand creams in. I am planning on having all of the hand creams from the body shop for my clients to choose from. But at the moment, a lot of them are out of stock. So I haven't got that many yet. So I have this CD stand which is from oh god why did i say that i'm pretty sure it's from argos um it's quite long to be fair it's got quite a lot of space in it so at the bottom i've just got my card machine um there is a lot more holes in this to be able to have more shelves but i wanted quite large ones to be able to fit everything that i wanted in so on the top shelf i just have everything that i use quite often like pens pencils gel brushes and then i've got cuticle oils glues all of this at the moment is usually um on my desk ready to use and cleaned in between clients and stuff like that because i'm not using them at the moment i've just popped them in there and then i use these lipstick applicators a lot um with a bit of acetone on to go around the finger when i've done stamping to get off all the excess um and then here i just have like annoying pointless things that have to have space which is cotton pads in here so i got this as a gift set for christmas that jar with the sanctuary items in it and i've just used that for my cotton pads and then I have cleanser wipes just sat here. Then down here I've got isopropyl alcohol, my glitter bells, violet monomat, acetone, and that has also got acetone in. And then there is just my card reader, and there is normal nail polish remover, which I hardly ever use. 
So I know I'm speeding through this, but I don't want it to be like a 20 minute long video and you want to get really bored. So on my desk, I usually just have pens because I do a, sh a lot of Sharpie nail art. I have a lot of nail art brushes in here that I use often. Obviously my lamp, this piece of wood here, I got from Ikea for a pound. And everyone took the mick out of me when I first bought it <laughs> because to be fair, I had no use for it at all. But now it's coming really handy because I'm using this as my desk now for a while because um, I can literally just wipe over it really quickly. So then going over here, I have a coaster here for when I make my ladies a coffee or a cup of tea. I've just got a kind of pop. So here are my Navy Pro Tools hygiene set. And then this usually has my business cards and a couple of local business people cards in it as well to promote local businesses and then up here we've got all of my gel polishes i've got quite a few so over here so all of these black bottles that you see over there are all blue sky these are all premier gels that i'm in the middle of selling um so they are disappearing slowly and then here i've got my glitter bells builder gels and over here is things like hard gel top coat base co blossom base things like that from blue sky and then down here which is on the left to where i sit to do nails i've got this little cute cupboard which was 15 pound from b m which i thought was really cute and really good value so i have my coffee machine on top with some massive mugs that don't even fit the coffees that i do in them <laughs> and the biscuit tin and then I've got uh, sugar, sweetener, a couple of glasses that I don't actually use, they're just there for show and then that has got all of my coffee pods in for the Tassimo machine and then moving over here so like I said this bed is going to go, I'm going to get rid of that completely, it's up for sale and just waiting for it to sell um, and then this chest of drawers here will be pushed back into that gap and so will those drawers there so the bottom end of this room is currently being used as a washing pit for my mum's laundry <laughs> so on top of here i've got plans and if i can zoom zoom out a little is what i was going to say so i've got my name on here my business name and then i've got this cute little plant which was five pound from asda i find that really cute i don't even know why um and then i've got this lamp here from the range i'm really sorry i can't remember how much it was but that's from there um and then just my date here so at the moment i'm waiting for a wax melt burner which will sit here um and then over here i'll have a candle which you'll see in a sec because they're in my drawers so first drawer here we've got this is just stuff that's not usually in here this is only here because of covid19 so on the left i've got everything to do with removal kits um i sell those to my clients and then on the right is everything to do with press on nails apart from the nails and boxes everything else is in here that i include so files cuticle sticks glue cleanser wipes there's stickers down here and just bits and bobs that i use for that so that drawer is pretty boring <laughs> and then i've got this drawer which is an absolute mess i don't like the way this looks at all and it will look different when it is finished i've got all of my magpie glitters in here i do want more i am toying between getting the full glitter collection as well but i'm not 100 percent sure that i'm going to do that because to be honest i don't really use glitter that much so unless my lady suddenly start having lots of glitter then <laughs> i'm not sure but down here i've got all of the nail art that i've done that i've kept because another thing that's on the way that i was going to include in the haul if people wanted me to do that was a5 folders um that i can and i've also ordered some card as well that i'm going to stick the tips to so i can display my nail art and then in here, those two are just full of foils. That is all the exact same thing. They're business cards and I got these from, I think it was AliExpress, they're about £1.44 each. Obviously they take a while to come, so if you want them, buy them now. <laughs> and then this is the thing that I always get questions about because it looks amazing and it's actually so cheap. I'm just trying to hold my phone so this is a folder from smiley's glitter store and it holds so many i think it says on the website that it holds 144 that's not entirely correct it holds double that so 288 because it's double-sided but they've only wrote that you can like 
hold nine on each page basically but you can't you can hold like 18 on each page because they're double sided so i've kind of got them in some sort of order it's like blue green purple pink and stuff like that um i have left gaps after i've left two gaps after each color scheme to be able to add new glitters in when i buy them so i don't have to move them all over so that's that it's amazing i got the let me just grab it on so i've got these little bags that some glitters come in especially when i buy them from smileys you can usually pick whether you want a pot or a bag from them they're really helpful but if there is only a pot i'll just transfer them over into these bags i got those from ebay um they were really really cheap i think i literally got like 200 for like four pound or something crazy so just make sure that you get the right sized ones because i bought massive ones originally um and obviously they were no good so it's pointless and then at the back i have water decals which i don't really use a lot of so as you can see most of them are all like new because to be honest i don't use them they're a bit of a waste but it's fine so that goes in there and so do the little bags ready for when i need to use them i have my replacement tips here from the clear jelly stamper they're amazing they slot onto the stands and you can get the stand from them as well but if it's a little bit expensive from them you'd probably just be better off getting them on ebay okay i just had to pause it for a sec while i opened it because you can't do it with one hand so these are the stiletto ones they have the dots in the back that slot into the stands with the gap with the holes in they're really really good and they stay still while you're decorating them which is obviously really helpful they do different lengths and shapes as well i think there's oval almond no that might be the same thing i'm not sure um coffin and stiletto i think there's four different ones but i can't remember which ones they are because i just find stiletto ones perfect so then I've got this. This is the foil gel that I use. It's Evol. It's super cheap from eBay. I think it's about £5.99. Um, I've never tried any others to be fair. So I'm not really 100% whether it's good or bad because I don't really have anything to compare it to. But to be honest, I really like it. I've never had any problems with it. So I'm not really interested in trying any others because that is fine for me. Um, these are glitter triangles. So you put them underneath when I use glitter so I don't get it all over the place. And then over here, I've just got all of my different shapes and lengths of press-on nails. Nothing exciting there. I use these as dappen dishes. Um, I use them for when I do tinting because you can mix the tin in them. I use them for my monomer as well when I'm doing acrylic. Um, they're just a perfect size really. They're really heavy and quite sturdy. So you know that it's not likely that you're going to knock them over. Um, they're from Ikea and I think they come in a set of five. So you get plenty. I'm sorry if I sound really sniffly by the way. I'm struggling a little bit with my hay fever today and it's really driving me insane. So this is the random drawer. Um, so I did cover obviously all this briefly in the last video. So you will have seen it. I'm just going into a little bit more detail about what stuff is and where I got it from this time. So these here, they're all... How is that? Oh, okay. I've got the lid upside down. <laughs> So in here, I've got all of these. They are like, I don't know whether you can see them properly because it's not focused. There we go. So they're like, they're chrome flakes. Um, so you can either burnish them for a chrome effect or you can literally just sprinkle them on them, like pick them up and put them on kind of thing. Um, and they work as flakes. They'd be absolutely amazing for opal nails as well because I know that's quite popular at the moment. So I got those from Nao Nails. I haven't actually looked lately to see if they're still on there so i'm really sorry if i'm recommending something that's not even available anymore but it's worth having a look because they are amazing and then these i got from smiley's glitter store and i think i bought them in a set i don't think i ordered them individually i'm not sure though but they're foil so there's different colors i got pink green rose gold silver and a nice navy like nice deep blue so that's in there so all of these things that are in these um packages i got these like they come like with the lid and the bottom and then the the um the little pots i bought them from aliexpress oh, this one i bought them from aliexpress um i think i got 
I basically bought a ridiculously stupid amount because my original plan, how the hell did I fit this in here in the first place? My original plan um, was to buy enough of those to put all my glitters in. This was before I bought the folder. And then I changed my mind about it um, because I preferred the folder for the glitters. So I've got loads and loads of these things. But I think I spent £23 altogether. And I've literally got like an insane amount. I will show you how many I've got left. And this is how many I've used. So in here, I've got all of this sort of stuff. I don't really use that much, especially things like this because they're quite like thick but these were from aliexpress as well i just noticed it was the wrong way around sorry about that um these are from aliexpress as well they are so cute look at my thumb it's still stained from that art ink that i used in that ring yesterday <laughs> so annoying but yeah they're from aliexpress i've got a few different colors of them so i've got the pink blue green and it's like a rose gold Oh, they're so nice, but I just don't have any use for them because they're quite large. So using them is pretty difficult. Let me see if I can fit one of those in there instead. Yeah, there we go. That'll close now. Okay, so most things I did transfer over to the new um, lids that I got with these things. But some of them come in small pots anyway, so I've kind of just left them. I touched upon these yesterday in a video that I did with the rings because I used it to make the jewel. They are so nice. You get loads. So they're all in one pot, but they're all in bigger parts. So there's that one and this one over here. They're both the exact same thing, but I've had to split them because there was just too many. Um, So they're from AliExpress. And then over here, I've got all of my dried flowers. These range from Amazon and eBay, just depending where I could find them for a better price. Um, there's quite, oh my God, there's quite a few missing because I use these, not a lot, but I think, to be honest, there's not really that many in them. So once you've used one like that's it, then it's kind of like, it's gone. <laughs> I've never used these ones because they're, they're quite, like those ones, they're quite large and they stick out quite a lot as well. So I'm not sure how that would really work, but I suppose you can encapsulate anything nowadays. <laughs> Why not? So I'm not going to go too much into everything because majority of things are just like cheapo things from like Amazon, eBay, uh, AliExpress, like things like that. I don't really use a hell of a lot of things like this. Um, I do mainly gel polish design and like that's my thing. So I don't really have a lot of use for stuff like this but i like to have it just in case so these are really cute as well i got those from aliexpress i'm gonna open one of these because i need to see how many different types of things you get inside okay so you get all sorts of different things in these little pots so they've got small rhinestones they've got bigger ones they've got like bars of gold these things here let me just flick them over if i can without getting it everywhere oh god this is really like dramatic <laughs> well anyway they're gems like they're not that color that's the back of them this is so frustrating <laughs> there we go so yeah they're gems um and they are so nice there's all sorts of different bits and bobs in there they've got like pearl ones as well they're just really cute i don't like i said i don't really use them but i just like to have them just in case because obviously now that i'm full time and i am taking on new clients and i have been for a few months now you never know what type of clients you're going to get and they might like things like that so it's nice to have things just in case i think i don't think you can really ever have too much as a nail tech i think there is just endless stuff that you can have so i got like a purpley kind of one a blue one and the pink so everything else is kind of just like that sort of thing um from those types of places then over here these are all my dusts um so my magpie beauty dusts are in the the drawer that i've just been in with all my glitters but these are ones from all over the place basically like some of them are from like actual brands some of them are from ebay but i have no idea which one's from where because i haven't actually labeled the pots because to be honest i don't use them that much either so i know i'm not going to run out these i have used quite a lot i haven't used a couple of the colors they're still closed but they're neon pigments and they're five pound 99 from ebay for the whole set of 12 and they're just brilliant i really really like them love playing around with pigment and i've got dots in here and different types of dots and then i'm directly below one of the spotlights in my room so i'm creating a lot of shadow now Let's take this one out ring over here so uh, most of these are from smiley's glitter store i think the butterflies um those hearts these hearts 
the leaves, those leaves, um, whatever they are. Like, I think most of these are from Smiley's Glitter Store. I love those stars. They're really popular. I've used them quite a few times now. Um, but they're just cute things to have because they're quite flat as well. So you can use these with gel as well as acrylic because um, they lay flat to the nail. So moving over, I've got all of my Smiley's Glitter Store art inks. So I think when I had a look the other day, there's about three or four that I don't have. I think it was four. Um, the white I've got now. So I think there was like gold, silver, burgundy and green are the ones I don't have. So I do want the full collection, but not quite yet because obviously I'm not using them anyway. Over here, I've got random things like stickers. As you can see, I've used quite a lot of those. So I am going to get more of these. They're originally from AliExpress, but you can get these from like all sorts of different places. They're really popular at the moment. And I find them so much better than striping tape because they actually stick and they lay completely flat. And I've not had any problems with them lifting. So I'm really impressed with those, actually. I was going to look to see if I could find some of those in different colours instead of having this horrible like cheapo striping tape because they're just as cheap, but they're much better. So over here I've got all my acrylic paints. I get this from all over the place. Like I don't really use that. I've not really ventured into it too much. It was quite new to me when lockdown started. So I haven't really had much chance to like get acquainted with those. <laughs> this was a free gift to me with some um, press on nails that I bought ready for that business to start. And I was thinking about what I could do with it. And I saw an idea the other day. I'm on the Magpie Beauty Facebook page and... They mentioned they do applicators like these ones, but they have like a long stick and then they have the little mini applicators like so you can take them off the stick and put them back on. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to have this for a stick for each of these and things like the chromes. And then I can just write on these like what they are, like Rosanna Chrome or something like that. Um, and then when it comes to someone wanting the same again, I don't have to keep using a new one because it'll already have the same chrome on it. So I can use it again. Um, so I've got that there ready to be able to do that. And then over here, um, I've not really used a lot of these products, actually. I think all the like writing has come off of this because I clean it with acetone and then all the writing comes off. So luckily, I just happen to know what they are. I don't know how, but I just do. So that is um, white matrix gel. I use that quite a lot. Um, it's really popular for me, especially with the neon pigments, because you can use it on top because the tacky layer and it looks really effective. Um, here, that is a gel paint. I haven't used that yet either, but that's white gel paint. Um, and then these here are 4D gels from Blue Sky in different colours. I, ha I also haven't used those yet. Um, I've just got so much stuff, it's hard to actually like use everything. And then these here are the dried flowers that were in my last haul um, that I got from Smiley's Glitter Store. Believe it or not, I haven't used those either. <laughs> so I can't actually tell you, but I was going to swatch those. I'm glad that I have saw those and remembered to do that. So that's that draw. I'm aware that this video is going to be so long, but, you know, you can always cut out my voice and speed it up. <laughs> so... But I could honestly watch these videos like all day long. I absolutely love them. I'm so nosy. I love seeing what Netflix have got. So in here is, as you saw in my last haul, um, mini tour video, if you've seen that, is all of my Glitter Bells, um acrylic powders. So this is how many I have. To be honest, I'm just a bit of a hoarder. I don't actually do a lot of acrylic powder designs. I do offer it and I love doing them, but it's just not something that the clients I have at the moment are keen on because they don't like the whole hoo-ha of like having to file a long time for a, a in, for an infill and things like that. So I just have a hell of a lot of stuff for quite a lot of reason, really. And then in here, I've got all my Glitter Brows Core Powders. I keep them upside down because that's where the names are so I can, I can grab things real quick. And over here, I've got my Navy Pro Tool Ethel and the cloth. And I'm just waiting on Doris and Martha. And then over here is my business cards. I can't show you the front because it's got my phone number on it. And then forms. So the top drawer is pretty boring, really, just the essentials. Please ignore the labels on these as well because they've changed since I did these labels. So that's another thing that I need to do. So in here, I've got... Oh, 
I've got some foils apparently, didn't know they were there. Um, I've got some Nail Nails acrylic powders. I am going to be putting these up for sale because I don't use Nail Nails anymore. And to be honest, they're just taking up a whole drawer of something that I can... I think I might keep my Magpie gel colours in a drawer because they're not going to fit on my rack. So I could do with an extra drawer. And then the core powders from them. Then I've got a really boring drawer that I'm not going to go too much into. This is basically just like excess buffers and stuff like that. Okay, so one thing I did want to go over from out of that drawer is my um, label maker. Because I know that these are really popular at the moment. Because obviously everyone's got time now to be sorting things out. Um, this is super, super easy to use. If anyone wants me to do a quick video on how to use this, then I will absolutely do that. I'm not going to include it in this one just because it's not necessary. But it's amazing. It's so good. You can get different types of tape for it. I use the black writing on clear um, for my pop sticks. But I've also got a white paper with black writing as well, um, just in case I need to label anything that happens to be black, because obviously then you're not going to see anything. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you this as well, because it literally smells amazing. This is from House of Fraser, and it's the Fig Noir Room Spray. Oh my god, it's insane. It's £10, but it lasts so long, because literally one spritz. I mean, I've got quite a lot left, but you can't see where it is because of the packaging but yeah it's it's so nice i literally just spray the room with one spray of this between every client and it just smells amazing anyway moving on so in this one everything to do with stamping is in here so for stamping i i now use a mixture i have got these in here they're from um poundland so they're literally a pound they're not too bad to be fair some of them are quite good and um, if you can come across like the nicely highly pigmented ones they're pretty good as you can see, I don't really use them that much. Like the majority of them are still sealed, but they're just there just in case. Um, and then I used to mainly use Blue Sky, um, their weekly polish. So that's Blue Sky's version of normal polish um, because they're so pigmented and they're £4.50 for this huge bottle. So I've got quite a few of those and I use those quite a lot. But recently I invested in some clear jelly stamp up polishes. They come in the cutest packaging. <laughs> I mean, oh, look at that. They are so cute. So that is the Rainbow Collection, I think. I have looked on the website. It doesn't seem to be on there at the minute, so it might be out of stock. But that's the Rainbow Collection. And then I got the Christmas Glitz Collection as well, which is in there. And then in here, I've got all my stamping plates. I am waiting for storage of those as well, but I'll go into that in another video when it all comes. If you do want me to do that video of like the haul of all the random stuff that I've bought, then please give this video a thumbs up. Like just give it a quick like so I know that it's gonna be a good idea. So there are my clear jelly stamper ones. And then in here, this is absolutely full of Moira. I absolutely love Moira's stamping plates. They are insane they're so good um so if anyone is thinking of starting up stamping please 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 buy moira they also do smaller plates as well if you don't want the huge ones but they are so good and then i've got my lint roller and then everything like this like my stampers and scrapers and stuff which are also from moira and then I've got all my hard gels. I use Ink London's eye gel. I don't really use a hell of a lot of hard gel, to be honest. I am mainly acrylic based, but my mum, for example, cannot keep acrylic on to save her life, but somehow hard gel just sticks. <laughs> so that's fine. So here I've got my random drawer. I've got my surface cleaner ready. I've got two bottles of that. It's on offer at the moment in Asda for £1.50 if anyone's wondering. And then I've got some tea lights ready for my new wax burner. And then I've got three of these Eco Wix candles. These are also from Asda. I'm not sure if you can get them from anywhere else. I've not really looked into it. This is Cotton Blossom. So they have a wood wick. And when it's burning, it makes a crackling noise. And it is so, so relaxing. Perfect type of noise for in a salon. Um, I also have it in my bedroom and they help me sleep. Like they're so nice. So I've currently got one in my room at the moment um, called Christmas that I forgot I'd bought at Christmas. So that one is upstairs in my bedroom, crackling away, making the room smell amazing. And then I got the mint one. And then I got cashmere as well. And they all smell oh, stunning, honestly. I can't even explain how much I love those. I think this is empty, yeah. 
And then down here, I've just got boring things like gloves, sanitizer from Glitter Bells, normal sanitizer from Curex, and then a spare e file just in case anything happens to mine. I'm a bit awful at not throwing things away because I get really nervous about having one of things. <laughs> and then in here, I've got like wax spray, paper wax sheets, and you know, just things like that that I use for waxing. So that's it for this video. I'm not going to go into my desk because it's literally just boring things like tips. I use Glitter Planet tips. If anyone's wondering, the easy tips from there, I have the natural and the clear. Um, and then my e-file, which I use, is Cuckoo. Uh, my e-file bits. I have a cash box tin thing that locks with a padlock with a, a combination code um, for any cash payments and. That's about it that's in my desk really, I don't really keep a hell of a lot in my desk, just things like removal wraps and files and just things like that, like the boring stuff that nobody really cares about. <laughs> um, so if anyone's got any questions or anything then please fire them away at me. I'm getting a lot of messages on Instagram when I'm uploading YouTube videos and I find it so nice that nail techs are coming together at a time like this. I mean, I absolutely love helping other nail technicians and a lot of people will know that. Um, so I am one of those nail technicians that welcomes you to message me on social media if you need any help with anything or advice, if you just want to chit chat about nails because I love talking nails and my boyfriend is sick of it so <laughs> I'd be more than happy to have a chat with you. Um, so I just want to say a really quick thank you to everyone for subscribing and liking my videos and following me on Instagram, like absolutely everything. I just can't believe how much support there is at a time like this, it is so nice. Um, I think I had like 260 followers on Instagram about six weeks ago and now I have about 1600 like that's insane um but I'm so so grateful I know that like followers are not important as such and numbers and stuff like that but it really is to me um because what better way to sh for people to say they like your work than to follow you on social media so they can see more of it I find that really humbling um so yeah if anyone's got any ideas or anything they want to see that i do on my that i can do like on my channel for you or anything like that then absolutely please let me know let me know about that video that i've got planned um of all the random stuff that i've ordered i think the last thing to come is going to be on saturday so it'll be in about a week so yeah just let me know how you feel about that and Thank you so, so much for following me on any platform that you do. Please give this a thumbs up to support that video idea if you think it's a good one. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. I'm not 100% sure what it will be yet, but I will think of something and it will be up for you. If you haven't watched my other videos yet, then please have a look at those. Um, I did an acrylic ring video yesterday that was really popular. A lot of people asked me for that. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notifications bell if you haven't already. And I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.